And hello everybody and welcome to a preview of the Udachi, which is the uh, tier 7, new tier 7 premium uh, Japanese destroyer that has dropped into my mailbox. So we're just going to take it out for a quick spin and um, fire up a bit of a video so that we can take it through its paces. As you can see it has extremely long range torpedoes, looks like four per tube from the, from the size of that spread. Um, it has uh, reasonably long range guns. It's actually got, a, I've got historical camo loaded on it and my usual loadout of um, concealment. So there's quite a lot um, of concealment going on here. Look at this. We have the Fubuki. I'm not sure if I really want to fire at that, but we will. We have a rapid reload, two rapid reloads on the torpedoes. So actually we have quite a lot to play with here. We'll give that... Um, Pensacola a bit of a run for his money as well. Um, we have smoke, so there's quite a lot to write home about here. Um, we have the usual ridiculous pop guns um, associated with the um, Japanese destroyers. It's got a long reload, and what I'm going to be doing there is just speeding up because he'll be, uh, of course, aiming at where I was, not where I'm going to be. Um, so let's, uh, he's um, probably busy trying to size me up, he's already fired his torpedoes off. Um, we have this Fuso here, he's going to be definitely giving me a bit of a blast, so what I'll do is I'll uh, take that on the nose and we shall give him, oops, I'll get my speed up, and we shall um, get some turns going. It'll be more than enough to deal with him. I've got a bit of a problem with my speed today. Pop a heel. We'll watch that Fuso go down. And the hail of... Uh, he's set me on fire. Okay. The torpedoes are very quick. And they have extremely long range. So he's slightly out of range now. We're still detected because of those bombers. Um, it's not a particularly quick ship. Although I'll, I'll pump up its volume now. So he's going to come in. I reckon he'll come in about there. He's going to do a turn. We'll pop a torpedo reload. Which reloads one tube completely. And which should give him a bit of a fright. It looks like he's... Is he going to change his turn in? He probably is. We'll give him another one. And... Oh yeah. We'll get a couple of hits on him. And we'll open fire with our guns now. He's obviously got more important things to do than deal with a destroyer. Um, those torpedoes move pretty quick. I have to look at the speed of them. So after this game, we'll go through the stats. The guns are the faintly ridiculous pop guns. That's what it feels like. Got one torpedo hit. Um, it's quite a comfortable little destroyer, actually. And we've got... Um, what have we got left? We'll, uh, we only have one smoke. We have two torpedo reloads and two speed boosts. Um, the only thing that's left is a carrier. With two minutes on the clock and a speed boost uh, coming off cooldown in 28 seconds, I think we can probably make a go of it. So yeah, so so far, um, the torpedoes seem... I've heard rumours that the torpedoes are quick. So we'll have a look at that. I didn't have a look at the stats before hopping in. I just thought I'd hop in and play a game. Just so that we could pop something up so that you could see what was coming. Uh, that carrier, is that, a, is that a bot or a person? That's a person. He's obviously going to be trying to target me. He's got his fighters up. Um, yeah, he's got his fighters. He's got the um, torpedo bombers. Which is going to be interesting because we need to turn into those. And we will make our way through the... There we go. He is trying to get away. Our torpedo reload comes off in, in a few seconds. So he might as well just... Yeah, he's going in reverse. Let's see if he actually... Uh, he decides to do anything about that. To be honest, we might as well just... And we have a torpedo boost, a reload booster, so um, 
we might as well. Um, yeah, he's in real trouble now. So we will predict that he might actually try and slow us. What's he doing? Is he moving in reverse? He is. And what's happened to my torpedoes there? Ah, he's moved. I fired them. Didn't fire them with enough lead. Or I did. Okay then. Well, um, it's a victory, which is always good on your first game. Um, in a new ship, the torpedoes on this thing are... Well, they feel a little bit different from the torpedoes in the other Japanese. Maybe it's just the nature of the battle. Um, let's actually go and have a look at some stats. So, um, well, we came top of the board, which is nice. Two kills, 59,000, which is not bad for a first game. 11 torpedo hits. I felt like I was getting torpedo hits a little bit better than usual. The guns felt normal, it felt, although it felt like there was more than the, the four. It felt like there might have been five. Anyway, let's go through and have a look. Ship hit points, 12,880, which is, I think, fairly low for a destroyer. Let's go and compare it with the Akatsuki next door. Oh, it's actually not too bad. It's got a few extra over that. Um, if we check it out with the Mahan, um, something like the Mahan, um, let's see what we've got hit points. So, actually, it's pretty tough. Um, it's not too far off the Mahan. Um, Citadel, yeah, well, okay, then it hasn't got much in the way of torpedo protection or Citadel protection. Maximum speed, 34 knots, which is fairly slow for a destroyer. Um, Mahan's not known to be too fast. The Akatsuki's a fairly quick destroyer, and it's not nothing near the Genevni. Let's just pull up the Genevni here. Um, well, we're busy going about it. Uh, with the Minsk, sorry. So, yeah, so it's, it's sort of... The same as the Shiratsuyu, which I haven't got um, the tech tree loaded for that. Uh, time to full speed, 9 seconds, so reasonable acceleration, uh, pretty average. Uh, traverse speed is um, a little bit less traverse speed than the Akatsuki, um, so it doesn't turn as well as some of these other boats. Um, so it's a little less, a little more unwieldy, but still, I was fighting at fair distances, so that doesn't make much of a difference. The guns are 380 and 403 for damage and 4% fire chance. I'd suspect that those five guns, 2x2 two two and 1x1, one one, are pretty much the same. I oh, know they're a little bit more powerful than the Akatsuki, but they aren't nowhere near as, well, they're more powerful than the Mahan. So it has guns. Um, so, but without the reload speed, let's check the reload speed, 5.5 .5 seconds. So. Um, a little bit faster reload speed than the Akatsuki, but um, slower reload speed than, let's say, the Mahan or the Sims, um, or the Minsk, which has, well, actually, it's not much worse than the Minsk. So I'm going to have to say its guns are looking pretty good too. So there's not much to complain about here. Um, so 4% chance of setting a fire, which with destroyer guns is pretty good. 12 degree per second traverse speed. I didn't feel the traverse speed was a problem, but as you can see, I've got my standard equipment load out. Torpedoes, 70 second reload time versus the Akatsuki, which has a 54 second reload time. So it has a very slow reload time. It has the two reload boosters. So essentially, it's like having a third tube twice in the battle. Um, torpedo damage, 4,300. That seems pretty high. That is massive. Okay, the Akatsuki, which is the tier 7 Japanese destroyer, has very powerful torpedoes for the tier, and the uh, Yudachi has much higher torpedo damage. And the speed, 75 knots, that will explain the hits. Uh, full 9 knots faster almost than um, the Akatsuki. Um, I think Russian torpedoes, no. Nah. No, uh, much faster than the um, the fastest torpedoes of the other fast torpedo lines, and even the Mahan, which uh, has much slower torpedoes again. 25% chance of flooding, that seems awfully high, uh, versus 19%. Um, this thing is torpedo menace. Its weakness, of course, being a destroyer, is its AA. Its AA is less than the Akatsuki, which doesn't have great AA to start with. Um, its AA is a bit better than the Minsk, but, I mean, the Minsk isn't anything to write home about. And its concealment at 5.42 kilometres is pretty damn good. Now, my um, 
Akatsuki has 6.24, but if we um, if we bring that up using my standard loadout, um, right, so if I just go and purchase these, um, just to bring the Akatsuki up to speed, and camouflage, historical camo, so let's compare it with the Akatsuki now, best case, the Udachi has um, concealment of the surface detection of 5.42 kilometers, which is pretty damn good. Um, but it's still a little bit worse than the um, the Akatsuki, which is pretty, pretty good at 5.57 kilometers. So all round, I'm going to have to say that if you're a destroyer captain and a little torpedo boat captain especially, you're going to like this ship. Now, um, I have heard a rumour, and I can't substantiate, that the torpedoes are deep water torpedoes, which means they can't harm destroyers. But I'd um, have to go and look that up somewhere else. Anyway, I hope everybody gets a bit of a view of the ship from this video. And thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.